Hello everyone. Later today I have one, maybe even two videos from Ukraine for you. But first of all I have some satellite imagery showing Never Team Air Base in Israel after the Iranian missile strike. So, this imagery shows zero destroyed F-35s. Iran claimed 20 plus were destroyed here. However, there was one successful strike on a row of hangars. I have no idea what was stored in here. This could be where the F-35s were kept, but this looks more like it's the transport area of a base to me. And considering the US knew long before the attack that a strike was going to happen, then Israel likely knew as well, and so would have removed any jets. I imagine this was completely empty at the time. There are some other impact markings at the base visible. I'll go through those very soon. First, let's zoom in on the hangar. So this looks to me that possibly two missiles impacted here, and two hangars look damaged as opposed to one. Again, no idea what was here, or whether it was even full at the time or empty. I am leaning towards empty. Here's all the impact markings shown. Starting at the top, one small crater not too far away from the flight line. And side note, those burn marks that you can see on the flight line itself are not signs of attacks. We see these on every airfield. It's just marks from years of use, scorching marks from the engines and that sort of thing. Now, moving to the left hand side, a small building with what looks to be a crater near it and signs of burning. It's hard to tell for sure. This could even be the shadows, but until we start performing Apache, we can't be certain. But I have marked it as a possible impact sign. It could even be debris actually falling from an intercepted missile, taking a break from hitting Russian air bases. But if this is an impact, then it is possible that that building there did suffer some damage as it is very close to it. Moving right, something much more definite, a crater in a runway, very noticeable. Next to that, two small craters in the ground surrounded by some blackened ground where a fire was caused. To the right and above that, another crater and some more blackened terrain. To the right of that, a crater impact on the ground near the hangars. And then finally, the two impacts we looked at in the hangar itself. So, Nine missile impacts visible in total, but only one building damaged. Now, around 20 missiles were seen to hit this base, so we are missing some. It's important to note that this image is just from one section of the base shown here. So, we could very well be damaged to the other sections of the base, and we don't have the imagery yet. I would be very interested in seeing the section highlighted in blue. These are hardened structures, and look to be a very likely place for F-35s to be. So, if Israel did destroy an F-35, I expect we might see it here. Although, I do think the F-35s would have been vacated, as Israel had advance warning. There's definitely the possibility, though, of one undergoing maintenance which may have been on the ground at the time and couldn't leave. Ukraine caught Russia with their kegs down like that before, hitting jets, undergoing repairs and maintenance, with drones and the jets couldn't be vacated in time before the drones hit them. This area highlighted in black looks like a good candidate for the repair section of a base, consisting of two sizable hangars. So, I think it's the most likely spot for Iran to have bagged an F-35. Another area to keep an eye on in yellow. This consists of some hardened bunkers, including some with entrances, which look to go underground. I think this is likely the ammunition storage, and would again be a very good place for Iran to target. So, a place I hope we get some satellite imagery from here. But honestly, I don't think anything of note was hit. Around 20 missiles hit this base. We've looked at possibly 9 of them, and all Iran has to show for it is one destroyed hangar. The upper air base that was hit, Tel Nof, which is home to F-15s, is obscured by a cloud, so no imagery from there at the moment. There was one sizable blast seen in the video which we looked at, and that looked like it did hit something important. Now to address some twaddle, so some Twitter sources are sharing this image, saying, and I quote, that Israel is putting digital clouds over Never Team and other air bases to hide the target and the damage. That's not true. Satellite imagery is captured in little tiles. What we're seeing here is where the edge of the tiles end and the generic Google Maps overview, or whatever the base map overview is, begins. It isn't digital clouds added. It's the available satellite imagery at the time obscured by actual clouds and the point where said imagery ends and Google Maps begins. 
I use Sentinel 3 satellite imagery because I'm tired of an adduct source and can never turn down a freebie. Sentinel's free imagery is from October the 1st. We can see the pocket of imagery is a square like this, ending in a line. You need to pay for the Google Maps satellite imagery overview, but if I did do it, we would see the exact same thing as we saw at Never Team. The cloud cover ending in a straight line over the generic Google Maps image, which was taken months ago. So, no. Israel didn't add digital clouds to satellite imagery to hide the damage. It's just clouds. So that's it for this video. A Ukraine video to come later on tonight. But I hope you found this video interesting. Now, before I finish, I'm going to play a video message from Sanaf about his work in Ukraine and the ongoing fundraiser. Thanks very much for watching and take care of everybody. Hello Supermimers community, my name is Sanif. Uh, I'm a volunteer that's been helping the Ukrainian military uh, for the past two and a half years. Uh, I live in Ukraine and have been here for about 10 years. Uh, at the start of the war, my good friend Yuri, who was my gym instructor, went to join the military and I stayed on to, to help support these guys. We've done lots of work along the way, uh, so thank you for everyone who supported us. Uh, we currently have a fundraiser ongoing for uh, an armoured vehicle. Uh, cyclist uh, for an armoured vehicle. It, it's going really well. We've raised nearly £10,000. We have got £15,000 to go. The vehicle has already been purchased uh, and is now at the garage. It's having a BMW engine installed and then it will be taken to Ukraine to have the ceramic and Kev Kevlar uh, armor armaments installed. So with your continued support we'll be able to uh, bring this project to a successful conclusion. Thank you very much.